Hey guys, just want to show you guys how to uh, pollinate, or how I do it, uh, pollinate my citrus trees that are indoors for the winter. Um, as you can see, this one is uh, flowering. Um, has a lot of flowers. It's got some here. And I've actually got a lime. If I can get it to focus here. Got one lime here. I've got a couple other ones that are smaller than this, but um, it's important to keep the water consistent. Uh, don't let it dry out and especially don't overwater it or else the buds will drop. Um, your little limes will drop also. Um, so what I do is I use um, this small paintbrush here. And what I'll do is I can show you on this one, maybe this cluster is better. What I'll do, sorry about the focus here, trying to get in close. So what I'll do is I will touch the brush on all these yellow parts on the outside, these anthers. And I'll just load the brush up with pollen. I'll sometimes cross pollinate by going over to my other trees and then getting the pollen from there. But you want to load it up, as you can see here. Um, if I can get it to focus there. It's full of pollen, and then you just want to touch it onto the stigma pistol here. The stigma part of the pistol, which is this tip. The yellow round tip in the middle. And you just want to touch it on all of the flowers. I try to get to the flowers as soon as possible. Um, the sooner you get to it, the more, the better chances you get of uh, having it set. It's not uh, super, um, I mean, you don't have to be like right on the money, right when it blooms, but try to get to it as soon as possible. If it gets too, the flower gets too old, then it uh, doesn't work as well. So that is how I pollinate my citrus indoors.